Well, good morning, and welcome to day two of our super awesome ruined weekend of the snow. I mean, it is tough waking up to a car that's almost fully charged every morning, especially when you're away on a weekend down the snow. Thanks for accommodation. Such a beautiful sunny day. We've decided to head back up to Charlotte's Pass this morning. Go for a morning walk to a nearby lookout to enjoy the sights. The closest lookout. Because I'm here on, there's numerous walks to Kosciuszko and around the mountains. It can take a couple of days. A lot of people camping out there at the moment, which is crazy, but good on them. It gets a little difficult from here, but you can see the stairs up the top there. It's still pretty easy to follow. Time to head back down the hill, getting a lot of free energy thanks to the curvature of space time, and head on to Threadbow. Fortunately, while we're here, the Kosciuszko chair to the top of the mountain was closed. Up the top there is the Eagle's Nest restaurant, great cafe and restaurant as well. There's also the start of plenty of walking tracks, some going to Kosciuszko themselves, or you can walk back around to Charlotte's Pass, the Blue Lake and other glacial lakes up there. It's well worth the weekend visit just to cover some of these tracks, but unfortunately today it was closed, so we spent the rest of the trip just exploring the village, which is quite busy pretty much all year round, especially in winter and summer. In spring, lucky, it's not so busy, so they're doing chairlift maintenance, stuff like that. But yeah, there's um, all year round, there's always something to do here in Threadbow. Bushwalks, mountain biking, and almost getting hit by chairlifts is pretty much an all year round activity. And now that we've spent a lovely relaxing morning here, not charging cars at either Charlotte's Pass or Threadbow, it's time to start making my way back to Jindabyne and back to Sydney, unfortunately. But first, we have to stop over at my favourite little distillery here in the Snowy Mountains. Not only is this place a great distillery serving some great gin, which I really love, it also has a small restaurant and some quite interesting outdoor art gallery type displays. But once inside, being a distillery, obviously there's plenty of drugs, I mean alcohol to buy, a little cafe, lots of stuff to look at, and also a cool little photo gallery of the history of the local area down the end. Now it's getting towards the middle of the day. We've still got 500 kilometres to go in an EV. It's time to head off via Cooma, Canberra and then Sydney. We're heading back home now. We're leaving Jindabyne, heading to Canberra Supercharger. Uh, a quick lunch stop. We didn't stop for lunch in Jindabyne. We um, put the car in the charger for five minutes while we went in the shops and bought some, some lollies and some fruit and a few drinks, found the toilet, stuff like that. Yeah, we've got 349 kilometres. It's only 153 kilometres to Cooma, I mean, sorry, Canberra. So we're easily going to make it. According to the cars, we're going to get there with like 45% battery remaining. So for 45% is enough to get back home. It's only going to take a few minutes in Canberra. I mean, it's time we go get some Maccas and go to the toilet. Your car's charged, ready to go. But yeah, on these mountain roads, this Model 3 handles awesomely. And that power, when it comes over taking slower cars and uphills, it's like 80 to 100 k's an hour instantly. It's faster than a motorbike. So when it comes overtaking, and think about it, just put your foot down and before you know it, you're already well over the speed limit and way past the car you're trying to pass, which is really good. Water pilot is road seems to be working quite well, though he does have issues with the lane changes or the ends of overtaking lanes and stuff we noticed, which is um, a bit weird. Don't know why. Yesterday we were assuming it had issues with lane changes due to the wind. It was a um, very strong crosswind. But we'll find out when we get back to the dual lane motorways how it goes again with the lane changes with no wind. One thing I do like about it though, people keep telling me that driving an EV is no fun. It's like most people that say that they've never actually driven an EV for the start. But yeah, on these winding roads, coming back from Threadbow, back from Charlotte's Pass. Yeah, they're just not needing a brake. Just be able to calibrate the um, the throttle position using the regen for your braking. It's just as so much fun and technique involved in that as there is going down gears. This wouldn't a manual driven piston powered car. 
So I wouldn't say it's less fun. It's a, it's a different type of fun. It's not more fun. It's not only a uh, working with the working driving, getting that right, and getting the satisfaction out of getting the region right until it reduces speed for a sharp corner, but you're also getting free fuel for it too. So that's always a very good bonus. Yeah, that's really. So we're now heading back to Canberra for an. We'll see you there for an update. Well, here we are back at the Canberra Supercharger for the 10 minute recharge just to get us back to Sydney. Now, on this entire weekend, this is the only charger we've ever needed to actually complete the trip. Total cost to use these chargers was zero due to our supercharger credits we used when we ordered our Tesla. So if you're ordering a Tesla, please use the supercharger credits. It makes weekends like this so much easier and free. But yeah, we used the NMA Jindabyne charger, not because we needed to, but simply because it was there while we were shopping. And also, our accommodation provided free charging overnight, ensuring we had a full battery Sunday morning to enjoy the rest of the weekend. So there you have it. One totally spoiled, ruined weekend in an EV from Sydney to the snow. Total distance of about 1,200 kilometres for the weekend. As you can see, easily done. Same amount of time as we'll take in a petrol car. And obviously far cheaper and just as much fun and far more environmentally friendly. So if you got this far, thank you for watching. Very much appreciated. And if you're going to take a long road trip like this, please drive safe and take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.